Let's say we were asked to differentiate y is equal to 5x over x plus 2 all cubed. So for this we're going to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule said dy by dx, if, f of, if y is equal to f over g, then dy by dx is f prime g take away f times g prime over g squared. Okay, so that was the quotient rule. So dy by dx in this case is the bottom, so x plus 2 cubed, times by the derivative of the top, take away the top, times the derivative of the bottom, using chain rule, is 3 lots of x plus 2 all squared, divided by the bottom squared. So that will be x plus 2 to the power of 6 now. Okay. So let's tidy that up. We've got 5 lots of x plus 2 cubed, Take away 15x, uh, sorry, x plus 2 squared, all over x plus 2 to the power of 6. Now, we also, that's using quotient rule, but we also want to be able to simplify this. Because it's in, in its current state, it's um, quite difficult to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by x plus 2 squared because the three terms have that as a common factor. So if I cancel this down, dividing everything by x plus 2 squared, I'm going to be left with 5 lots of x plus 2 there, take away 15x there because the x plus 2 squared is gone, divided by x plus 2 to the power of 4. So if I simplify this, we have 10 take away, well 5x take away 15x, so 10x, over x plus 2 to the power of 4. And now that's much easier to work with, because if then I was asked to find where are the stationary points, then I could immediately say that x is equal to 1, will be one of them. Okay? So that is how we do the quotient rule up to that blue line here, but then simplifying it, is really the next step.